When, when David faced Goliath, part of the reason why there was no fear when he faced Goliath because he already been through the, through the training. Yep. He killed the lion and the bear with his bare hands. So when he comes against this uncircumcised giant, he was more angry than anything. <laughs> I, you know, what are you being afraid of? Man, he, he, I done already been through the ringer. So when you accept the small wins, look at your life and look at what you had already overcome. Ex accept the fact from then on that you are an overcomer. So when you overcome one thing, guess what? You an overcomer. And then you just keep putting one foot in front of the other, one foot in front of the other. So when life comes and strike a blow, you just got to remember just like David did. Well, shoot, I done already killed the bell. I done already killed the lion. Who is you? The B2S Podcast is brought to you by Motivated Apparel. Motivated Apparel, the premier gear for motivation. A brand that motivates, inspires, and empowers you to stay motivated while chasing your dreams. Head on over to www.shiftmotivations.com forward slash shop motivated apparel and grab yourself some motivated apparel today. Hey, yo, what up, world? What it do? Hey, welcome to another episode of the Blueprint to Success podcast, man. Y'all know what it is. Hey, it's your boy, Mike Mariner, a.k.a. The Shift Motivator, coming at you tonight, man. We got another live one ready for you on tonight, man. We're excited. And welcome back to um, another midweek. And I hope you, you guys are having a blessed week, man. But y'all know what to do, man. We're going to go ahead and get this podcast rocking. And um, y'all give it up for you, this guy right here, man. My left, your right, man, my brother from another mother. Give it up to the champ himself. <laughs> the champ is here. Alexander <laughs> Ho. The champ is here. Uh, y'all, y'all tripping. I appreciate the champ it, though. Is here. I'm what's, pretty. What's going on, the bro? Champ is I'm here. pretty. What's cracking? <laughs> I was going to get you, sucker. What's cracking, man? How y'all doing? What's happening, man? It's cracking like it. It's good, man. Midweek, you know, trucking through the week, man. You feel me? Just keep on pushing. Homework, you know. Yeah. Lord have mercy. Yeah. yeah. Not the day. It's good, though. That's I'm glad I'm here. I, you know, I feel good. I've been keeping my appointments with God. Waking up mm -hmm. at that about 5, between 5, 5, 15 every morning. Get my time in, you know, so... I had to switch my days around, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like switch my times around, cause I don't, cause I don't like the. Um, I was starting to feel like I was trying to fit him in. Like, nah, we not, we not doing that. Yeah. You know Fast. what I'm saying? We yeah. not doing that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Sweet. That's good though, man. I'm here. I'm here. We's here. We's here. here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, y'all know what it is, man. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Y'all know what it is, man. Yep. The man that needs no introduction. Big bag. B I G. But we gonna introduce him anyway. B I G B A G. Yeah, yeah like he switching right now. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all know what it is, man. Y'all give it up for my brother from the same mother. Man, Y'all give it up for Big Dub Boy. Hey, big bag, man. Day. Big bag, Dub. What it do, my people? What it do, peoples? Oh man, I am blessed. Just came out fresh on the weekend of Flavor baby? Fest, and it was grand. Oh, that's, that's what's up. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Man, it was it was dope. I, I, I really love going that like for the building, the relationships. And yeah, yeah, networking and stuff. I, I love it, man. I went to the uh, entrepreneurship track, and I also went to it was that one, mm -hmm. and they had church planting. They also had community teams and uh, artist track. Mm -hmm. So I went to those two. How was the uh, the church planting? How was that? 
Well, how they have it is whichever ones you pick, they kind of simultaneously cross and go at the same time. So, oh, so you, you so you can so go. You if right, I'm yeah. in the artist track and that's going on yeah, at you, that time, and then if I'm yeah. in entrepreneurship, yeah. and that's going on at that time. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. It's like that's how most of them are in. Yeah, yeah. you be yeah. like, dang man, I want to go check that one out. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So. And so for me, like where I'm at in my season, church planning wasn't a, a fit for me right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where I'm at, so um. But I had the opportunity to meet D Black, and uh, he cool, man. Me and him got a chance to vibe. The one I was telling you about the father-in-law, me and him was working at the same job. And uh, he was like, man, I see why a lot of people love you, man. Like, I've been hearing a lot about you before I ever met you. So it was yeah, like, yeah. I was like, wow, bro. So he was like, uh, I was doing my Kevin Hart impression. <laughs> he was like, bro, you even, yeah, I get it all the time, man. <laughs> Real rap, bro. <laughs> What's happening? We on the Blueprint to Success podcast. Mm-hmm. Chocolate Drop is in the building with the shift motivator. Got the MA like he's ready to do an MMA. Shifty. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because you already know. We're going to shift him on the mm, ground. Shifty. Mm. Executions over excuses. <laughs> Real rap, bro. Shifty. She got no sense. How's the motivator doing? Don't, Who he motivating? Don't call, don't call for his, his shifty. Hey, 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 you ready? <laughs> <laughs> Don't co sign this foolishness. He's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. This foolishness. You know what? I'm gonna tell you why. <laughs> <Bap, bap, bap. laughs> <laughs> Bro, it was so funny. Man, I watched the old clip of uh, uh, Hoodie Awards. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Right. Thank you, Jesus. Right. <laughs> <laughs> He's stupid. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> he's stupid. I just had me rolling, man. <laughs> he's he was just waiting for the time to cut in while they was talking. <laughs> he's stupid. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> he's stupid. He's stupid. Keep, boy. I want to thank Jesus. <laughs> he's stupid. <laughs> he's stupid. <laughs> hey, Joe, actually, do they still do that? Yeah, he still do it. Okay. He still do it, far as I know. That junk is. It must have, what does I have to find out when what it comes on because you never hear it advertised. So right. it's just like a you know I ain't even a stream know or whatever. I ain't even know about it till YouTube. So I ain't even know Man. that was a thing. That junk, but <laughs> it's hilarious. Them guys, well, they be when I say they be cut because Steve Harvey he just let them go. It ain't mm-hmm. really no filter like mm-hmm. on regular TV. Mm-hmm. Yeah, nah, he just let them. He let them. He let them do their thing. Kevin yeah. Hart just stupid. Him and um between that and Lavelle and, and David Lavelle and, and yeah and even um <laughs> Lavelle what's the other big uh, earthquake earthquake yeah yeah earthquake funny, yeah, yeah he's stupid bro he real funny man uh, them guy how you in stitches boy mm-hmm. <laughs> they just stupid like that hey Lavelle throw your coat and cover that side of the <laughs> 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 oh, no, no, we gonna talk about this today. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> we ain't gonna talk about what you look like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Lavelle, crazy too. You funny too, bro. You funny too. You funny too. You got no sense. Eh? Well, you finna have me go back and look at them clips again because oh, they were showing up funny. I cried now. Oh wow. man. <laughs> not stop looking at those clips. Oh man! Oh, boy. oh you don't got me in trouble. They gonna bring me back this year. They hit me. Oh, did you have y'all seen the um? Before we get ready to good time, did you have y'all? Did y'all see when he was on? I think we talked about it on one other podcast mm-hmm. when he was on um Billy Mo Jr. Yeah, yeah. Y'all yeah. actually went back and watched that. Yeah, that, Bro, that's, that's a good one. Yes, yeah, that's that's a good one. Yeah. That was that was a real good one. And uh, the one with Candy that he just dropped good. Too. I just saw that the other day. That's good too. Yeah, I, I think I think a lot of married couples should watch that one for real. Yeah, that it is, and it bring yeah. a lot of whole lot of clarity to a lot of things. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's been a lot of good ones out there. Yeah, and and my wife's podcast. I've been watching a lot of that. Too. He should be watching it. I'd be forgetting about it. Yeah, I'm, be man, I'd be I'm too, like. Uh, Oh, man, I'm watching so many goddamn podcasts. Yeah, my girl, she put me on that one. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. She put me on yeah. that one. Yeah, and I just watched. Uh, uh, shoot, which podcast that was? Was it Jeremy Anderson podcast? Mm-hmm. 
uh, Wall Street Trap was that joke yeah. got an interesting story, boy. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Which I've been following already knew, you know, yeah. but it just mm-hmm. to, as it, going through the podcast, just really like layering his life and how he got to where he at, break by break. That cat boy it got me more intrigued. I got I got to go watch some more of his stuff though. I got I got to go back and watch some more of his stuff. Yeah, yeah. That 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 cat that that, that cat that boy. That's yeah. why, bro. When I be on, when I do watch social media, if I'm not watching like uh, you know, Russian music or stuff like mm-hmm. that, I be watching the interviews. That's how I be watching. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I love watching to hear to hear people's stories, bro. I love yeah. it. Mm-hmm. And I'd be like, mm-hmm. dang, one day somebody's gonna be watching my story one day. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just, yeah. sure they watching saying? it now. Mm-hmm. Watching <laughs> it. And the one you did with Diamond, bro, that's, yeah. that's intriguing too. What, which one are we talking about? The one you did with Diamond, the first one, where he did it sent down with you. Oh, yeah, yeah. But that, that was just a man. No, and I told him, like, we'll do another one, we'll do another one. He was like, Man, but I don't, you know, I don't like to, I don't want to be like I'm, you know, in the front, you know what I'm saying? I like being in the, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, he, like, he really want to, he really want to be like that. Behind with the scenes. Yeah, with a person. Like, he don't like that, like, bro, you, you mm-hmm. whether you know well, it or not. heard that from? hmm Who? Me? Pop go to Weezy and the Weezy go pop. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he, hey, but they for you. Oh, you're an owl now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you French? <laughs> we? Who? Huh? You know, mm-hmm. I mean, you know, I mean, sometimes you, uh, sometimes you, you know, it's like when you don't realize, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, what you're capable of and when you start believing. I, I mean, let's just come from the house, let's be real. When you start believing more, in yourself, when you start believing the person who designed you over, mm-hmm. you know what, I'm, I'm just coming from the house real quick. I think that, you know, that's what we're supposed to do on here. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. that statement y'all just said is true because I stayed in my position, mm-hmm. right? But mm-hmm. at the same time, I just been lately, within the last year, six months, even mm-hmm. within the last few months, weeks or whatever, mm-hmm. you have to you have to pull on it every time you feel something is depleting from you. Mm-hmm. Like oh, I just yeah. been more and more like believing what God say about me over what I think about me. Yeah, yeah. that's how you got to be pure. Like until right. like y'all bump when you right. when you hear that stuff. Like no, nah, I'm bumped out. What did God right. say? Like you know right. what I'm saying? Like like what did no nah, what God said about me? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So when I start believing what He say. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. More than what I say, then I start. I start believing the same thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I start believing the mm-hmm. same thing because it's definitely a war going yeah. on. It is. Yeah, yeah. But actually, that's that's good that you share that because that can actually kind of like kind of like lead right into tonight's discussion because um, it's 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 about about you know being resilient, but being resilient on an, on a whole another level than what you've been before. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's like it 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 cha- it, it it challenges your thought process. Mm-hmm. Um, it challenges your being. It challenges is your way of the way you used to do things. Mm-hmm. Right. And so now it's like it's time to turn it up a notch. So that's kind of where I am. Um, because actually, um, having to go, you know, speak to to the Hornets today. So big shout out to Haines City. For sure. Hey man, y'all, the boys do some great things over there in the coaching style. Uh, they just made the playoffs for the first time in over 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 ten years, um, yeah. and I actually had a message already prepared mm-hmm. for them, right? So, but as I'm sitting at my desk working and you know checking emails, sending emails, stuff like this, and why why and I'm listening to I don't even remember who it was, but I'm always listening to a podcast or somebody speaking, mm-hmm. and they was saying some stuff and then they was like they went to a part in the message where they like they asked God a, a straight question like God how do you want me to handle this whatever that situation was and it was like straightforward to the point and I'm and it grabbed my attention it grabbed my spirit differently mm-hmm. and so I'm sitting there listening I'm like well and I just felt the impression to do it so I just asked all right God what because I already had what I thought I was supposed to talk to them about but I'm like oh and I just stopped and I say all right, God, 
what message do you want to relate to the to the guys today? Yeah. And it is I can probably count on both of my hands and toes that I I've actually got a literally the response after asking God a question like that that mm -hmm. fast and. Tonight's title is what like came to my mind. Like, Man, we can talk about that on the podcast tonight. So, which is um, repackage your resilience, and like it came to I'm like wow. And then immediately I started beginning to write notes now. And so, just to kind of give you guys a backstory as we get ready to go into the dialogue, man, it was like, um, and, and and you know I have you know some of the, some of the kids they actually listen to the podcast. So, so or, or for those that may. Um, be a stranger to content creation. Uh, so basically, I started off explaining what content creation is so that they can understand the point and why I believe um, God had me choose that because um, in the beginning of the season, they really didn't have an identity for their team. So when I was speaking to them about identity, um, it actually came up. And so one of the words that came up was resilience. And it seems like every time I go to speak to the guys, I'm always in the vein and where the coaches are and the theme are for what they're discussing with the team for that week, mm -hmm. which is, a, you know, all glory to God for that. But, um, and as they begin to identify themselves, one of the words that kept popping up was the word resilience. Right. And if you look at the progression of where they are at the beginning of the season to where they are now, that's, that's resilience is, is a big part of that. And mm -hmm. so when you're looking at content creation, and I was beginning to explain how um, content creation is, you know, whatever you post on social media, whether it be a video, whether it be a TikTok video, whether you're, you're speaking or sharing something, or whatever that may be, right? Mm -hmm. And so I say, but there's a thing that's called repurposed or repackaged content. And so what that is, is taking your old content and just re reposting it again, but you may change something. And so I, I used an example of like say I may have taken one of my motivational videos that I did two months ago, but I'm gonna repost it this time, but I'm gonna put a different um, instrumental in the background. Or I may add some B-roll, or I may add some clips. Mm -hmm. So it's the same content, but it was repackaged um, and repurposed different. for something different. Mm -hmm. And so when we're talking about uh, repackage your resilience, yes, you are resilient now, but we need you to repackage it. And what we need mean by repackaging is just like repackaging and repurposing your content. It's the same thing, but you took it up a notch. Yeah. And so in this season, as we are in the fourth quarter, going into 2024, let's, let's take it up a notch. Let's turn it up a notch. You know, yes, you've built some type of resiliency because you had to go through what you had to go through to be where you are right now. Continue. You know what I'm saying? But now it's like it's time to type it up and up. And so that man, man, that message actually even did did something for me because I began to share to them that, hey, you're not the team that you were last week. So the team that you're about to face this Friday night, the film that they looked at you uh, uh, about you, mm -hmm. whether it was last Friday's film or any film before then, guess what? Because we're progressively getting better. You're not the same team that's on the film that they watched. You, you know what I'm saying? And, and, mm -hmm. and it just began to speak life into them. And, and there's, you know, the, the matter at hand, as I begin to even speak life into my own self, like, man, you know, I am becoming more resilient as I begin to seek things out. Yeah. You know, and going through the challenge um, the last two days with E.T. and his camp and what they're doing. Mm -hmm. um, and, and just... Looking at that and the message that I, I spoke to today, it like it did, it sparked something. You know what I'm saying? It's like, because I'm, I'm, I, I consider myself to be a resilient person. And not just because it's coming from me, but it, I've gotten um, plenty of people outside of me have, have said the same thing. Mm -hmm. So, um, but to take it to the next level, I'm like, man, I got to take it to the next level to go to the next level. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, I got, you got to find a way. Um, to repackage and repurpose something that you've already established in your life to be able to go to that next level, no matter what that looks like. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So it may look the same, but when you package it differently, it's not the same. Mm. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, what I'm saying? I, can, I, can, I can repaint my car and it's going to give it a whole new look, it but it's the same car. Mm. I can put some rims on my car, it's going to give it a whole new look, but it's the same car. I could put a whole new different motor or engine in my car, 
But it's still going to look the same because it's still the same car. And so that's what we're talking about. You got to have resilience to be able to go through things. Because guess what? Every time that old saying is very common. New levels bring what? New devils. New devils. <laughs> so just because I learned how to operate and be successful on this level doesn't mean that the same thing is going to happen on the next level. So I have to be able to take those attributes and be able to expand on them to where, okay, and we got to turn it up or not. We got to intensify. Exactly. Because it's, you, you can't go in with the same mindset and the same uh, level of, of, of power that you once went in with mm-hmm. the, the, the uh, season before. Yeah. Because now there's, you got to come up with new strategies. You got to yeah. come up with new ways of thinking. You got to right. come up with new ways of moving. Right. Like even when things are the same on the inside, what is on the same on the inside that is keeping you from being resilient? Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. those things on the inside, you mm-hmm. still got to move. You still mm-hmm. got to you still got to sit with yourself and see mm-hmm. what is it that uh, that is about me that stands out that says I can be resilient if I feel like I'm not. Mm. Can, how can I walk through resilience? Mm-hmm. Resilience, it sounds like it's something that's continuous. Mm-hmm. It, that means it's continuing to fight, continuing to get up when you get knocked down, continuing to, to, to do whatever it takes to get to where you're trying to go and let mm-hmm. no one or no devil keep you from getting what you feel is rightfully yours Mm -hmm. and it goes back to next level access Mm -hmm. it ties right into it because like resilient is the opposite end spectrum when it comes to success because you you can't acquire something you're not willing to fight through Mm, that's good you can't okay so okay so being that real quick Mm -hmm. real quick Doug read the definition of resilient so so that people know, cause I know a lot of people know, yeah. right? But a lot of people don't. But once you read it, like, oh, this is exactly what they're talking about. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So resilience, which is a noun, yeah. Uh, resilience is the capacity to withstand or to recover quickly from difficulties, toughness, the remarkable resilience of so many institutions, uh, the ability of a substance or object to spring back into shape, ele- elasticity. Uh, and they have another nylon is excellent in wearability and resilience. Yeah. So when you think about having to restructure things, it causes you to be able to see what it is that needs to be broken down. It causes you to see how do I need to move and be able to get this strength that requires for me to be resilient. There's a, there's a certain thing inside of you that you have to tap into that you can't allow yourself to get to a place of um, where you feel like there's no hope. <clears throat> hope is the anchor to faith. Mm-hmm. It, they intertwine. Mm-hmm. I feel like you can't have one without the other. I mean, you, mm-hmm. you can have right. faith, but... Right. They coexist what, together. They exactly. got to coexist together. What, what yeah. is driving you to believe mm-hmm. in if you have no hope? And I, I remember I had a conversation with somebody else. They was like, man... If I didn't know Jesus and have a personal relationship, how do people out here have hope? They, they, it's like they're just floating around. Mm-hmm. They're just existing. There's, there's no enthusiasm. There's no want. There's no desire. There's no need to feel like I need to do something. I feel like mm-hmm. I want to do what I want to do when I want to do it, how I want to do it. I don't need nobody to tell me what I need to do or what they think I should do with my life. It's my life. This is how I want to move. And if they don't like it, they ain't got to be a part of it. Mm-hmm. That's the whole attitude of the world. And even when um, I, I feel like when you're resilient, you're also saying I'm not backing down. Mm-hmm. I may step back a little bit, Give, give myself time to catch my breath, you know, need that second win, but then I'm going to get back in the ring, and we're about to go some more rounds. And when you think about resilience, mm-hmm. what movie kind of ties into that? Rocky. Mm. When you look at it's how he favorites. trained, yep. when you look at what he went through, when you look at how bad his face was beaten, but he didn't allow himself to get to a place of where he's like, no, this is not yeah. going to defeat me. Yeah. It ain't about how hard you can get hit. Adrian! <laughs> but it's about how hard you can get hit and get back up. <laughs> For real? The boy, he took some hits. <laughs> but I, and and yeah. life is the same, yeah. man. You got to learn how to bob and weave. 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? Spring back. Spring back. We, oh, ooh, you should have bob right there, bro. <laughs> and you know, each level you you yep. surpass, you give yourself a bandwidth of capacity that you didn't have before. That's good. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. You give yourself more energy, more you 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 You're able to withstand more. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Because I look at the three of us, what we endure, Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> We're resilient. We understand. And the thing and, and the thing with being resilient, man, you take previous things from previous levels and you acquire to the next level where you're going. And you tweak it to where it can be to your advantage and leverage. To win the fight, mm -hmm. yeah. You may lose, you may lose here and there, but ultimately you'll win the war. But you gotta so, have, you got, you gotta, you really gotta, mm. you gotta really train for that. Man, it's crazy because I was about to ask the question. So oh, I'm, 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 so, and I'm looking at some notes here. So at the end of the day, mm -hmm. is resilience. Something that is already obtained or is resilience to something that is built? That's the question. Ooh. I think it's something that is built, but it takes something to happen for you to notice it's there. Like, how, how do you know good is in this world if you never knew evil? You, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, it's like, mm -hmm. it's, it's certain things that acquire you to experience something that you never experienced before. Mm -hmm. And when you think about people that, okay, you're my mirror, I'm your mirror. Mm -hmm. Until I get into an atmosphere of something that I have never been into around before, and now I'm feeling uneasy because now it's something that you see in me that I didn't see in myself that I didn't know was there. Now I'm feeling some kind of way. Mm -hmm. Now it's saying, okay. What is it about me when I came into this? I, feel, I was fine here. I was in my comfortable bubble. Mm -hmm. I was chilling. But now I'm over here. And now it's just like, ah, this is it. Mm -hmm. Because you, you don't know what's on the inside of you until you're in an atmosphere that causes you to look at yourself. Mm -hmm. And it challenges you. Mm -hmm. So I, I think it's, it's something that you have to build upon, but... You also have to be able to be in an environment to recognize that it's there. Yeah, you yeah you have to be run out because it causes you to mm -hmm. to look at yourself and sit with yourself and be like, yeah. okay, why am I tripping? What's causing me to trip? Like I was <laughs> fine over here. Right. Mm -hmm. okay. So so would you say because and 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 what I was thinking this is just from me. Mm -hmm. That's not a either or question to me that's a both question mm. what you mean what you elaborate mean? Because, what you mean like, both. Like what you just said uh -huh. like it's 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 both it's something that's already there but it's also something that you got to build to yeah for mm. sure because mm -hmm. you, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. yeah you see yeah. what i'm saying that's, that's why mm -hmm. but yeah. the question was i wanted to throw that out there to see what the, yeah. and i know you got i know you got some and no so, I, ain't, I ain't got too much yeah, yeah whatever you just made your bed you coming into the living room Stop. <laughs> Come up straight from the house. <laughs> from the house. <laughs> so that goes back <laughs> off of what you just said, though. Is it, is is you have to be put in a situation to know that it's there, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because what's the, what's the uh, what's the old saying is you never know how, you never knew how strong you were till you till strength was your only option or that you had to be or something of that nature. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying. Right. So yeah. you never knew how strong you could be until you were put in a situation where you so was forced to be strong. Mm -hmm. And just like it, like like how they talked about how you know uh, you know how strong mothers can be when their kid is in trouble. You know they can pull a car off their kid because of the adrenaline and, and you know you know that that's a great example in this situation. So right. at, but at the end of the day, it's like. When you find out that there's a strength there that you're able to operate in, mm -hmm. now you have to make the decision to, okay, well, I need to tap into that. Mm -hmm. right. And so now the next question should be, well, how do I tap into that? Because a lot of times I know that it exists, but I don't know how to develop or tap into what I just acknowledge that exists in my life. You know what I'm saying? That's just like 
okay, I'm experiencing, oh man, a relationship. Oh man, I like what we're doing here. Right. How do I tap into more of that? So that means you gotta start researching, you gotta doing more and 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 repeating, you know, a place being in a place of repetition to where, okay, I may can't walk a mile or run a mile now. But if, if I train myself and I push my body to go, well, I might can only start off speed walking. Mm -hmm. So now, now I'll go from speed walking to, okay, I may jog for 20 feet, but I have to stop and walk for 20 feet. I may jog for 20 feet. So now you're retraining your, not only you're retraining your thought process, mm -hmm. but you're retraining your active steps towards the goal that you said, which exactly. is to bring more of that into my life or to expand to where I can run a mile without actually stopping. Yeah. You know, and, I, and I've done that before, and I've actually yeah. started the process because I got, you know, because yeah. schedule changed or whatever. Then I get into the gym late because I'm not one of the ones that gonna get up and go early in the morning. So, so, so sometimes I just go straight to the weights. Right. Well, a lot of time I just go straight to the weights, and then because where I had got to the point to where I could like run a mile straight without stopping, mm -hmm. it's like now I'm having to retrain my body all over again because yeah. it's not used to running that length of time without yeah. stopping. Yeah. But I can walk at a really fast pace mm -hmm. to where it wouldn't take me long. Right. You know what I'm saying? And it's you more know. so not your capacity, your lung capacity, but it's more your legs. Cause Leg capacity, for me, lung capacity. With speed walking, like I could speed walk all day, but then it gets to the point when you start feeling the muscles getting tight in your calves. <laughs> and it's Look. like, hey, okay, let me slow down. Just Look, a little bit. Bro. Look, I call my so me and Doug go to the gym one day, right? <laughs> uh, we go to the gym. <laughs> Never again. <laughs> do it. <laughs> Dub had me on the treadmill for two hours, bro. I ain't never been on the treadmill for two hours before. I'm tired. I'm like, bro, you he just talking. I'm like, bro, I'm gonna get off. <laughs> I don't know what you got going on. <laughs> I don't know what you got going on, bro. <laughs> I'm finna get off. Uh. Bro, two hours. He was. <laughs> I'm finna get off this joint, bro. I'm sorry. I said, bro, I do like 35 minutes on the treadmill. I said, bro, I ain't never been on a treadmill for two two hours, bro. It's time for everything. Bro. Right. <laughs> you gonna learn today. <laughs> oh Lord. We love we love church. Look, we love church at 12 o'clock. Oh good. I looked up, it was 158. I was like, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna get off this joint, bit dog. You can have it. <laughs> you can have it. No, no. <laughs> you don't wanna do no more cutting old man? Nope. nope. <laughs> Out of here. But like, man, I've always been like a huge fan of cardio because even in high school, we like, uh, far as like kind of building up to that, running the track, we had to do four laps. Right. Well, we can do anything, play basketball, whatever. And we had a certain time we we had to meet. Right. <laughs> so what I would yep. do, I was just like, all right, I just jog as far as I could. I get maybe around halfway around the track. I'll start speed walking. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Then I'd start running toward the end, get there. And then I'll actually start jogging. And I would do, and I got to the point where I would do, I would start out running the first lap. So I could be like, let me get myself some extra time. Then I'll speed walk, maybe over halfway, then I'll run again. Then I speed walk halfway, then I'll run again. So it, it, it does change your mindset, though. Because it's mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. you, you always think like, man. But then when you the more you do it, the more you train your thought process, you're like, oh snap. I ain't even oh I done I done ran a whole mile and I ain't mm -hmm. even stopped. Mm -hmm. Especially over there by uh where Pastor used to live at, that trail. Mm -hmm. I love that trail. Cause it, it like it gives you all the way around, you got hills, mm -hmm. go, and it just gives you scenery like that. I can't I can do cardio, but I I love scenery. I, I got yeah, change. I, I realized that when when the pandemic hit, and yeah. um, even though I'm, I haven't been been back, I'm at the treadmill at the gym, but mm -hmm. I realized how much I like actually being outside. Mm -hmm. And we we would go down to Lake Eva, mm -hmm. and I actually mm -hmm. like that because you got the path, but then you got the the hill. Yeah, going up the hill, so. And he had the little monkey yeah. bars. You can kind of just yeah, yeah. Like, and they had they little had, extra, different exercise yeah, stations exactly. and stuff. Yeah. 
Yeah, and, and so, but it, it, pull-ups. yeah, yeah. So, but it, it's, it's, um, man, it's, it's like, man, it's fourth quarter. You know, we be talking about fourth quarter, so it's like, you know, getting ready to turn up um, for the 2024, but you're still mm-hmm. in motion. It's like, you don't stop because we're entering into another season. So mm-hmm. you want to keep everything in motion. And, and so in order to um, build resilience, I'm looking at something real quick, and I'm going to read this. Mm-hmm. And so it's like, well, how do, I be, how do I build resilience? So it's like, yeah, you know, everybody's talking about get over your problems, get over your issues, this stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's easier said than done. How do you do that? Well, I'm going to tell you. Well, we're going to tell you. Mm-hmm. So um, I'm looking at this, this it was an article that I had pulled up. Okay. And so uh, it was a couple of points that was good. A couple of them I'm not going to, you know, dive into. But one of the first things they talked about was practicing acceptance. Mm-hmm. So I thought that was pretty good, which yes. was what we were all talking yeah. about, you know, which kind of couples with awareness. So, you know, before I read the other parts, so basically practicing acceptance, when I think about that, it's like, okay, mm-hmm. I'm accepting the fact that I'm, I'm at this point, but I'm also accepting the fact that I need to be over there. Mm-hmm. You know, because a lot of times we always talk about acknowledgement or accept where you are. That's great. But right. what's, what's right. after that? Can exactly. you accept the fact that you realize that there's better for you over there? I'm and not just decide. settling, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And not just, you know, well, this is how my family always done it, but is that what you want for your family? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? This is what, a, what we should do. Or, okay, well, if that's what you should do, is that because that's what you desire for you and you, what your situation is? Mm-hmm. So I thought that was pretty dope. Um, number one, practice and acceptance, but at the end of the day, you still, mm-hmm. you, or can you accept the fact that you want to be over there and not over here? And so it says this, this could mean adopting a strategy that involve taking things one day at a time, right. being patient, and focusing on what was possible in the moment. Mm. Uh, to sum it up, the small wins. Right. Exactly. That's what that right. is. Repeatedly. Right. <laughs> it's, it's, it's just small it's like, wins. Right. It's you taking the inventory mm-hmm. of what's keeping you captive or mm-hmm. what can be better and you working on one thing at a time every right. day. Oh, That's bro, I'm so glad you led into that. Keep going. Yo, one thing Yo. at a time every day. It's the small wins. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, it's the small wins. The, the, the small wins, bro, you bro. can't, bro. Mm. And those small wins keep you content. They keep you grateful. They keep you adamant. Mm-hmm. They keep you, when you feel like you just want to stay stagnant, it keeps you bro, resilience. With one foot in, the, in front of the other. It serves as a reminder mm-hmm. that you've overcome something so you can overcome something else. Yeah. Exactly. It, it, right, what you said, um, mm-hmm. said is it it goes and uh, my mind is going through this because I got you know, we're we're recording while the challenge is going on, so I have to go back and listen to the recording for tonight. Okay. But it goes right back to the first part of what ET was talking about, man. It just be so funny. We don't be trying to mimic nobody about how much we be in alignment right. with what's going on in the atmosphere and what we believe, mm-hmm. because that goes back to his first part of the um, challenge, what he was talking about, facing the giants. Yeah, mm-hmm. facing fear. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So when when David yeah. faced Goliath. Part of the reason why there was no fear when he faced Goliath because he already been through the through the training. Yep. Mm-hmm. He killed the lion and the bear with his yeah. bare hands. So when he comes against this uncircumcised giant, he was more angry than anything. <laughs> I, you know what are you being afraid of, man? He, he, I done already been through the ringer. So when you mm-hmm. accept the small wins, look at your life and look at what you had already overcome. Accept the fact from then on that you are an overcomer. So when you overcome one thing, guess what? You an overcomer. Mm -hmm. And then you just keep putting one foot in front of the other, one foot in front of the other. So when life comes and strike a blow, you just got to remember just like David did. Well, shoot, I done already killed the bell. I done already killed the lion. Who is you? So you got to tell your problems about your God and not God about your problems. You know what I'm saying? Slingshot by the kill. Slingshot killer. <laughs> and then what did he do? After he after he slayed the giant, he mm. chopped off the giant's head to let y'all know, don't mess with me. <laughs> he told him he was gonna do it before he did it. He saw it before he seen it. Right. <laughs> right. He said, hey, and I'm gonna cut your head off. Right. <laughs> cut your head, boy. <laughs> right. Man. Right. Right. And then um 
You got anything else? Or, but you know, that shows you how important it is to tap into God because there was a confidence in him right. that that you, right. you you cannot live this life set apart from God. You just can't. Right. Like this is your power source. You got to right. plug in. Right. If there's a level of confidence that God can give you to, and that can help you mm -hmm. and and cater to what it is that you're trying to do. Right. And that can help you overcome another hurdle. Right. And then another hurdle cuz each, each it's going to be some real hard <laughs> situations out there. Right. But you you can't do this apart from him. Right. If right. I it like Bro. That's good. <laughs> I can't. Because listen. he tapped in like, "Yo, who is this fool?" I right, listen, bet I'm going to cut your head off and <laughs> I'm going to knock you out. Bro, listen, I, I, I don't want to operate off a of remanufactured confidence. Mm, elaborate. Somebody else's confidence. I'm trying to operate mm. confidently off your confidence. That ain't my situation. Mm. What is something that's remanufactured? That's something that, that, that is rebuilt, that is not new, that is, mm. you know what I'm saying? Is is and a lot of times with remanufactured part, it comes from parts from other remanufactured parts or reused parts and put together for that specific. For, for that specific, but it's still it's not a brand new part. It's a remanufactured part, and it doesn't last. Technically, it doesn't last as long, but. Because I don't, you know, sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. You may not be in a position to buy. The manufactured part, which came from the manufacturer, which is what mm -hmm. they always recommend, but because they tax you on that, yeah. because it'd be so expensive, you go and you go buy the remanufactured part. Mm -hmm. But most in most cases, it does not last, mm -hmm. you know, or may not be as good as the manufactured part. So when you're talking about confidence, because the first person I've actually heard say that was Marsha, uh, what's her, Marshana, Marshayla Evans, or something to that nature. Because now people are trying to, I've heard different people say it, but like, nah, she's something. been talking about that a long time ago. Just Google it, it'll come up, you know, when you try to have Google something. But I, Marshawn Evans or something like that, that's the first time I actually heard that. But you hear a lot more people talking about it. But I don't want to live off of a remanufactured confidence. I don't want to be, um, and I'm going to go to this next couple of tips, but I don't want to be connected to people so much to that I'm trying to, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be resilient off of your confidence, looking at your situation and how you overcame. Yeah, that's going to be a testimony for me, but like Dub said, I got to have my own relationship with God to the point to where God has a certain level of confidence for me for my journey. Your confidence the B2S podcast is brought to you by No Grind, No Glory Apparel, R828 edition. It's a reminder to stay strong, to be courageous, to stop your fears and to feed your faith. Even when it feels like everything is falling apart, just know that you were born to stand out and make an impact. Head over exclusively to www.nogrindnoglory.net and grab you some merch as a daily reminder that all things work together. Your confidence is for your journey. I don't want something re And when it comes to my life, God, I don't want nothing remanufactured. When it comes to my health, I don't want nothing. I don't want... Um, you just generic stuff. No, we we going authentic. Mm -hmm. You know, you know. I'm, yeah, I may have to go to the Whole Foods store now. You know, I may have to eat more vegetables, more fruits now, because of, of what my body needs. And I don't want to be, you know, right. old. Be a good steward. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. So yeah. at the end of the day, I don't. I want to live off the confidence that God has for me, and I have to know that that seed is there, and then put the work in. Like as as I always say, work on that vertical. Yeah, Marshawn Ma uh, Evans. That's it. Yeah. 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 I've, I had been listening to her. I started listening to her some years ago, mm -hmm. and um, when she first, uh, she was like, "God, for this." I was like, "That's." My, I wonder if she trademarked it. She I did. don't. She did. It, oh. it shows a rat in the Google. Yeah. <laughs> she, I was like, because people, people be trying to, people be <laughs> like trying to claim that. I'm like, no, no dog. She that, came up with that. She got yeah. that certified. Yeah, bro. yeah. she put that stamp on that. I'm like, no, I done heard that one before, dog. Bro, every, <laughs> everything everything is a team sport or activity. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Everything is in a team sport. Like, when you talking about resilience, that is a, that's a one-player game, buddy. Mm -hmm. ain't, no, ain't, no, ain't, no, ain't no plug your controller in, no, because you have to make a decision for yourself. Mm, yeah. 
Like, you have to be like, you know what, I'm tired of this. Mm-hmm. And it's no different because mm. it's, it's, it's like a relationship. You're still an individual. Mm-hmm. Y'all may be in a relationship, but it's still an indi- you're still an individual. Right. You mm-hmm. still have to do individual things that you bring to the relationship to keep it spicy, to keep it going. That's it's it. no different than with your team. Your team is as good as you are. But you going right where I was thinking. You 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 hit the nail on that because the the team is a part of is a part of individuals. Mm-hmm. So if the individuals are weak, then guess what? The team is weak. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They are, and and it, it causes a a lack within your team, and it and it causes a certain level of discerny. It causes a certain level of doubt, fear. Uncertainty. So you have to be certain that I need to get myself together so I can be a benefit for the team. Mm-hmm. This is how God feels about you. He wants you to tap into Him so He can give you specific directions on your mark on this earth. Mm-hmm. Because there's something on the inside of you that no one has yet to do that He's looking for you to do. Mm-hmm. You just gotta jump out of faith and do it. Yep. That's yep. it. Yep. It's 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 time to re-engage and not mm-hmm. disengage. Mm-hmm. It, it's time to get reconnected. Some of some of you, some of you have lost hope. Some of you have lost focus. Some of you have lost the heart um, of what once excited you before because life happens. And, and you know what I'm saying? Life happens to us all. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, we still have to figure out how to navigate through this thing called life, through this process called life, and exactly. find the, the, the treasure in the trash, so to speak, mm-hmm. and, and, and live the life that has been conditioned for us to live. Mm-hmm. So a lot of times we're trying to condition ourselves for somebody else's life. Mm-hmm. And we ain't even we ain't need to fit do for that. that. You know what? I can't. You got some average people that can get away with training like a pro athlete because mm-hmm. their body's built for that or they train themselves because right. that's what they desire to do. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, the av- most people, I don't want to say the average person, but most people, they're not built for that. But they are, you know, they're built to be in shape mm-hmm. to, to, to conform to what their body can take. Because right. when you look at the training regime of a pro athlete, it is very rigorous because that's what they do for a living. It really is. I was you talking know. with uh, Holy Gabbana, and we, we was all in a circle talking. And he was talking about how he had to train for a year just to get his body acclimated and accustomed just to get it into that place mm. of being able to like train and work like a boxer. That's just to get it there. Versus actually walking in it in a way that you you can just do it. Pound for pound, round for round, you can last. Because, man, that's a whole different type of... Mm, that's a whole different, that's a whole type, whole of different type of... Yeah. yeah. Preparation. That's, yep. that's mm-hmm. an animal. Yeah, because, bro, when you don't train... See, the, the thing about resent... And, 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 and I know you got some more points, Big Mike. But oh, you good, bro. I know, I know one of the things is... Mm-hmm. I think some of the definition of resent is basically... Coming back from the, mm-hmm. the blow, springing back, yep. springing mm-hmm. back from mm-hmm. the blow. If fifty percent of the time we not training for the fight, we training for when the blow come. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. That's good. I like that. That's true. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So offense, I mean defense, always win games. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So if you don't train and get your core right, you get hit in your gut, you're going to fall out straight up. You ain't got to get hit in your chin. You get hit in that gut, you're going to fall out because mm-hmm. you didn't train for the blow. Mm-hmm. We don't want you to get hit. Right, right. But just in case you take a me one to that midsection, you, you train it. for it, and you're mm-hmm. able to take it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So exactly. it's sometimes that, mm-hmm. that knockback will knock you way back. Mm-hmm. It's not because you're weak, because you just didn't really train for it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it's harder for you to get back up. Mm-hmm. And it takes longer. It takes longer to get back mm-hmm. up. Mm-hmm. Yep. yep. And, and check this yep. out. When you get knocked way back, and it's hard for you to get back up, and you see everybody else sprinting ahead of you, that's what causes you to feel bad. Because mm-hmm. everybody else moving, and you still trying to heal up. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Everybody going 50 miles per hour when you ain't even gotten, in, you, you still in park. You ain't even got going yet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that that sometimes can make a person feel. I'm speaking. I'm mm-hmm. going from the house. Oh yeah, I think everybody done been there before. Yeah, mm-hmm. when you yeah. see yeah. when you see them moving forward and they and, and they mm-hmm. grasping certain <laughs> things and you're still trying to grasp certain things because you still yeah. preparing from the knockdown. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's fact. I Man, it's it's. I would say I would say, and I was just talking with um one of the coaches about this. I would say ninety percent of it is mental, ten percent physical. Mm-hmm. Because I remember, because I was I was real skinny. I was a toothpick growing up. So I'm out there trying to play football, and I was like, man, it's ninety percent mental, ten percent physical. Physical, <laughs> like bull crap. <laughs> I'm yeah, looking at that big old joker you just asked me to go in. <laughs> yeah. But as I as I got older, I realized he was actually right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I I watched some of my teammates that may have been taller than me, but they was. Thin, you know, and knock somebody halfway across the track that was twice their size. I've seen it. I played with guys like that. Mm-hmm. So it was like, as I'm in the motion of it, it's like, okay, he, he right because he ain't no bigger than I am. But his mentality was more doggish than mine. Mm-hmm. His attitude and his effort was more yeah. doggish than mine. His grit, his his grit was more doggish than mine. So uh, life required me to be that way because of what God had assigned upon my life. And so once the assignment was placed on my life and I acknowledged it, accepted it, and I figured it out, now I began to have to put myself, what you said, though, Mm -hmm. in environments that required my seed to grow and that nourished my seed to grow. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, and then that's how my resilience began to take place. So, and why did I go there about the mental piece? So I'm glad you asked because part of the training is... Mm -hmm you developing your mental. Right. So in order for you to develop your mental, you have to take in knowledge and information mm-hmm. that will develop your mental. So right. that is going to also help you to be able to bounce back quicker from any adverse situation that comes into your life. Doesn't mean that the situation is going to come back quicker or be relinquished quicker. You may be in that situation for a while, but because now your mind, you're mentally trained Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you're mentally conditioned to handle adverse environments so now even though the situation may have not happened very quickly but you're able to sustain yourself during the match or the fight or the war that's going on because now you're you're mentally prepared for the challenge so that's why it's very important about what you put that's why i say you know we i mean i i know these guys do too but man, I'm I'm listening to podcasts every week, multiple mm-hmm. podcasts every week, like every day. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Reading the word, listening to my worship wow. music, you know, um, listening to messages um, mm-hmm. from my pastor and other other leaders um, from around the world. So um, so I'm constantly feeding myself mm-hmm. um, in positive information. So when I need to make a withdrawal, there's a it's deposit there. there. I just need to figure out how much of the deposit I need to withdraw now. Exactly. And I, I think we don't realize how powerful our words are mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We, and how much we have to speak over ourselves yeah. and over our situation. Yeah. Even with the word and just. Yeah. And, and not muffle your, your greatness. Mm, that's good. I like that. Don't muffle don't, your greatness. Don't greatness. muffle your greatness. There's, even if you don't see it, even if you don't feel like it, don't muffle it. Mm-hmm. Get around some people that can cultivate that in you. Mm. I hear different dog. Write that down. Don't bother your greatness. Pick what side you want to be on. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that's good too. Stop oh, playing. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like, cause you you have to know, like, pick what side. Like, that's I I ain't even got no no punchline to come behind that. Pick what side mm-hmm. that you want to be on. Mm-hmm. Like. It don't take it don't take a rocket scientist to see that what's going on. Like we got for real in the Garden of Eden, they have two trees. Mm-hmm. One was what, Doug? One of the the knowledge of good and evil. And the other one was what? The the, the tree, of tree of life. Okay, that that's what's going on right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's but you got. I mean, I mean, just to be blatant to, to keep it a hundred. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? You have this way. 
and you have this way. And when you look at it, mm -hmm. it's not hard to see or hard to tell which side is on which side. Right. But to, to kick everything off, to kick the game off, you got to choose which side am I going to be mm -hmm. on? Because once you choose which side you're going to be on, it's a way mm -hmm. of, it's a way, it's a formula to mm -hmm. go about it. Mm -hmm. If you go on this, well, okay, well, let me. And there's a certain way you have to move. Because yeah. if you don't pick a side, the side will pick you. The side will pick mm -hmm. you. It will. Mm -hmm. Because and when they pick you, yeah. you ain't going to know what to do because you ain't equipped for it. You ain't equipped for it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Right. You got to pick a side. Right. Which is for the same big dog? No, I, I, I'm going to say because if you want to go about this way, like people who, people who do, people of faith, of Christ, it's still tough. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that it's easy. It's not easy. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is not cakewalk. You feel right, me? Right, right. But it's a certain formula to mm -hmm. how we, mm -hmm. how people of faith, mm -hmm. how we view family, how we view our women, how mm -hmm. we view finances, how we view our generational wealth, how mm -hmm. we view jobs, how we view confrontation, mm -hmm. how we view sex, how we view political things. How, mm -hmm. It's, it's a, it's a so formula much. to mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And if you choose, like, I don't want to, I don't rock with that. Mm -hmm. Well, then you're going to be viewing things and dealing with things how the majority of people mm -hmm. deal right. and view with things. Mm -hmm. But just know that it's not cakewalk either. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it's more harder. Without. Whichever side that you choose, it's a formula to it. And, mm -hmm. that, and, and the formula kind of helps uh, format how you need to go about things no matter where you at. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because on either side, it's information on both sides. It's right. people who talking stuff on both sides. You right. got people who preaching and teaching on both sides. Mm -hmm. Whatever side you own, right. those people who you feeding from, they're feeding you from that side. Mm -hmm. Tell you, there's mm -hmm. snakes on both sides. You, you dig what I'm saying? Just mm -hmm. keep your yard cut. So it's it's mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. diet. Mm -hmm. Earlier you were talking about um uh, the gym and stuff like mm -hmm. that. And being conditioned and trained, it, bro, it it don't matter. It's one thing that everyone has in common. Right. Mm -hmm. It's your diet. diet. Mm -hmm. You can be big muscular well, and have a claw artery, yep. and you out of it because your diet is wrong. Mm -hmm. You can have a person with no muscle. He got no six pack. He might have a little flab on him, mm -hmm. but his diet is right. His 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 kidneys is good. He drink a lot of water. Mm -hmm. His bowels flow smooth. Yep. His diet is good. Mm -hmm. So his. The stuff that's on the inside of him is working well. Mm -hmm. It might not look like it, mm -hmm. but it is. But it's working well. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you can look like you got the bells and whistles, mm -hmm. but is your internal working well? Right. You dig know what I'm saying? So it's right. about what side you want to choose, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. who's going to be feeding you, mm -hmm. and the substance that you're taking in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That has a large part of your resilience. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's good. Because how you mm -hmm. think about things is how you're going to act and move. Mm -hmm. Exactly. 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 You know, it's going to fuel your movement. Let's say, let's say mm -hmm. you had a financial kickback. Depending on who you get your information from, that's going to twist and turn your heart about what you're about to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you only bought the money and you're getting fed for, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm coming from my head. Mm -hmm. If you're getting fed like this, then your perception on money and how you get it might be. Different. It might be warped mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. versus if you look at it from this point of view, okay, you, you're willing to wait a little longer, have some patience. Mm -hmm. right. You're willing to play it by the book. You're willing to research things about how can you get it the right way. Okay, now that I have it, what do I need to do with it? Mm -hmm. It's not just mine. Because mm -hmm. right. over here, what we talk, we talk off gift. Mm -hmm. That's off rip because the finances, the paper don't belong to us anyway. Mm -hmm. Every, mm -hmm. e everything down here don't belong to us Anyway, mm -hmm. but if you're not fed that on your path, then you're going to view things differently. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So depending on what side you choose and who's feeding you, your mm -hmm. diet is going to be different. Mm -hmm. and, that can, and that can either help or hinder mm -hmm. how you maneuver and how you bounce back and how fast and how hard and how much gird you have when you become resilient. Mm -hmm. That's good. It's showing you right. Yeah, that's, that's good. That's good. And... Mm -hmm. um. Let me share this with you to uh, one of the other points I thought that was good. And it's crazy, like, that's why I always tell people, I'm glad that, I'm actually glad we came up with the blueprint to success as far as, you know, the podcast, the book, and everything of that nature. But um, everything always leading to the same place. Mm -hmm. 
because there's there's no secret to success. So a lot of these principles and stuff is stuff we continue to talk about, continue the things we regurgitate, but it just comes in different forms. Exactly. So that's just once again proof that there is no secret to success. It's just a blueprint. You just got to pick what blueprint that fits that's, that's what your desire is, because. The blueprint for my house ain't the blueprint for your house. Mm -hmm. I want this type of house. You may want a different type of house. So me trying to sell you the blueprint to my house, it ain't going to work. And you shouldn't let it work. You shouldn't let nobody sell you a blueprint for your success that doesn't fit what you want. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what we do a lot of times. Like, oh, man, that's nice. Oh, man, he got the balcony. Oh, man, that's a, oh, man, oh, man he got eight bedrooms, ten bathrooms. 6,000 square feet. Oh, man, I want that crib. They buy the water. But then you're looking at the water bill, and you be like, my God, well, yeah, you got the pool that's running. You got the lights that mm -hmm. got to cover the eight-bedroom and the 10-bathroom. Yep. So why are you going to complain about something that you said you wanted? Mm -hmm. Or was that because that looked good because Tommy just showed you the blueprint for his house? You'd be like, oh. Nah, dog, I'm good. Just give me a three-bedroom, two-bath, two-car garage. I'm straight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm, I, the, you got to pick the blueprint for what you want and, and keep your eyes, um, as you know, keep your eyes upon what you want. Um, really? in, in, in football, we tell the 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 the, the, uh, the defensive guy, keep your eyes out of the backfield. Meaning, what's your assignment? You're worried about what's going on in the backfield. No, you need to get six, seven yards deep. Mm -hmm. And and, so and now, and now you you falling for the trick play because your eyes is in the backfield. A wide receiver ten yards up the field, touchdown. Mm -hmm. Get your eyes out the backfield. What's your blueprint? And so, um, the, one of the next um, Point. points is uh, it says, which is what we talked about before. But it just the points are named differently. It says use positive reappraisal. That's reinforcement. Mm -hmm. Basically, it says reframing a negative event in a more positive way. Reassuring. Yeah. Perspective. Yeah, I just said that, yeah. Well, you just, see what I'm saying? Everything is tying together, so it's not just rah, rah, rah motivation, but these are, these are like, mm. you know, a lot of every episode is telling you a story to a, another, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. A, another novel, you know, it, it's a wow. series. <laughs> It's, it's like it's a series. It's a continuation. It's a continuation of the same principles, but just strategically formed in different ways. So it's like it says, it says um, that, that it actually was a common thing that was heard from many people. Mm -hmm. And it says an example of shifting from thinking about what the pandemic prevented you from doing was like going to concerts, visiting friends, um, then focus on what you could do. Like my, my situation was a prime example. I created the, the book in the, in the pandemic where everybody was, oh man, I can't go out. We can't go to concerts, can't go to the movies. Can't. I'm like, dude, as long as I'm alive and my people are fine, I'm straight. Exactly. Instead of finding out what, and this is what this is talking about, instead of looking at what you couldn't do or what you don't have, what can you do and what you do have? Positive reinforcement. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, well, shoot, you know what? Let me sit down and see what I can create, man. And then, boom, a book comes out of it. So. We're shifting your focus. We're shifting your focus. You know what I'm saying? What's priority? Yeah. Yeah. It, it, exactly. And then, mm -hmm. and just reestablishing it. Once again, reestablishing and refocusing um, the positive things and, and focusing on that. Hmm. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So, so resilient comes in. See, but. See, see, but. Mm -hmm. What he did was he still chose, mm -hmm. right? He he chose to be a, a producer and not a consumer. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. like you like, nice. man, it. What what mm -hmm. route are we going to take? Mm -hmm. If you are a consumer, you're gonna allow. And accept anything that the world and people in society throw at you. Mm -hmm. You're gonna take it in. Mm -hmm. If mm -hmm. you're a producer, you're gonna put a stop to that. Hold on, let me look at this because I want something different. I want to make something different mm -hmm. for myself. And you're gonna mm -hmm. be like, does this even fit the narrative? You know what right. I'm saying? Does, does this even apply to me? You, right. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Most time it does. Yeah. But they try. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. They try. Right. Just too resilient. <laughs> right. 
Right. And and <clears throat> as far as the points, I'm a I'm a say this one and then you can just add whatever, but I just wanted to bring these points. So, mm -hmm. so basically acceptance, uh, reappraisal, reconditioning, shifting your perspective. And then it says, uh, and I like this one, I don't like the other ones, I don't, I don't kind of, but, uh, but this one is, is talking about building your social net, building your social connection, build, which is what we're always talking about, yeah. people yeah. you hang around, you know what I'm saying? So, network is your net worth. It, 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 exactly, so it, it goes back, this, like, Bible lets us know there's nothing new under the sun. So everything is always leading back to say. So as we get ready to end the fourth quarter, how are you going to use these principles and apply it to your life to build more resilience? Because you're all resilient. Let's, let, we're not going to take away from that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're not going to take it from it. You know, been through some stuff that probably should have took you out. You know, been through some stuff where you know you should have been six feet in the grave. You know, been through some stuff, you know, mm -hmm. came through some bad relationships, you know, came through some things, you know what I'm saying, bankruptcy, whatever it can have been. You, you've been resilient, but. You're still here. You're still here. But now, going to the new year, how can we turn that up? And that's what I told the kids, say, how can we turn it up or not? We got to, you know, we got a game Friday. Mm -hmm. You're not the same team that you were last week. You, the guys, they, they don't know. Listen, them guys don't know what they gonna get when they when y'all show up because y'all ain't the team that they saw on film. And Why? this this is where they have to choose. Yeah. You got to choose. Yeah. They got to choose who's gonna show up. You want you the blue to. pill or the red pill? You got. You <laughs> it, it's that man. I'm telling you, you have to choose. Mm -hmm. It's because yeah. yeah, you got to choose. There's no other way around it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you At want all. something different, you have to choose. After mm -hmm. you choose, then you gotta make another decision. Okay, mm -hmm. where? Yeah. How am I going to get it? Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm, and where you go to mm -hmm. and who you feed from, it has a lot to do with how you think about where you at in your life. 110% sure correct. It sure do. Your diet is everything. Yeah. That's why I don't like, it's, it's a million podcasts out there, but I want to listen to certain ones. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And then there's ones that we listened to last season, and I'm just not even in tune with You're where I'm at. You're not in that space. Yep. Mm-hmm. Like, yep. this is crazy because, like, the last few years I've been watching podcasts heavily. That's all I've been doing because I felt like I need to feed my spirit, man. I need to feed what I need to do and help me to unlock what I need to to go f towards my next season and mm -hmm. and just have something different. I wanted something different. Mm -hmm. I wanted things to change. I want things to look different. It's like certain stuff works for a certain period of time for a certain season. So now it's time to expand. Mm -hmm. How are you going to expand? Right. Yeah. I mean, Brad, yeah, yeah, now nah, see, you just triggered something. About when, um, who was it when, uh, was it the disciples? When Jesus came up and um, they had been fishing all day and hadn't caught nothing. Mm -hmm. And Jesus comes into the picture and says, recast your net. Mm -hmm. I think it was Peter. Yeah, it was Peter. That's what we're talking about right now. Recast your net. Had so much of it. <laughs> Broke the neck, God dog, but yeah, it's time to re recast the net. It's time to up the ante. You know, what I'm mm -hmm. it's it's next level. It's time to up the. It's mm -hmm. time to it's time to up the ante. And you know, but what? before you say that, go ahead, bro. But you gotta realize the difference maker in that situation. Mm. They had been there all day said. and hadn't caught nothing. Same situation. But something different. Mm -hmm. What was the difference maker? Jesus came on the scene. The creator. Mm. The manufacturer. The manufacturer. <laughs> God sent the representative <laughs> from the home team, mm. from the home office, mm. and came down with the manufactured instructions. <laughs> oh, this is what you need. Here you go. You'd be like, man, we just been out there. We was here all day. They ain't caught nothing. Mm-hmm. And it's the part of springing back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You hear it. <laughs> Yo, been the, all, the same situation. <laughs> the same situation. God, no, but. It's just, it was just repurposed. It was repackaged. Mm -hmm. Same situation. Different. So what's the difference in your situation? Mm. For you to repackage your resilience, yeah, we gotta turn it up or not. Let's look. Let's let's look. What is what is that missing link? Same situation, but there's a slight difference mm -hmm. that's gonna 
just going to cause a surge to enter into your life. Mm -hmm. To where now you're, you're feeling like you're, you're, you're fulfilled in, in, in purpose. And it ain't got nothing. It ain't got to do nothing with nothing external. It ain't got to do with no new house, no new car. Success is, listen, in my book, that's what I talk about. Success is an inside job. It ain't got nothing to do with what you attach to. Because if you attach to success, if you attach your success to an, an external thing, when that external thing leaves, then guess what? You're going to say, my success is low. But when you attach it to an internal situation, you ain't going no well. You going with you all the time. So no matter what you lose, because you, long as you don't lose yourself, mm -hmm. you always have what you need. Facts. Yeah. I only got two words, man. Tap in. That's <laughs> that's all I got. Tap in. Just tap in. Tap in. Your your next level is calling. Will you answer? That's oh. the question. <laughs> oh, will you send a divorce mail? <laughs> Boom! I like that. Disrupt the comfort. I like that. <laughs> I like that. Like that. Because some people done bounced back and got here, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And they've been sitting here. Mm -hmm. And they've been sitting here and they started their, their new their new rotation of system, their new rotation of life, and they're sitting here. Right. Mm -hmm. But they want to go to a different plateau. Mm -hmm. But where you are right now, it's comfortable. Everything is working, how it's working. You've been doing how you've been doing it for a long mm -hmm. time. Your ecosystem is popping, how it's popping. It's been that yep. way for a minute. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If it's you want to go over here, you got to disrupt the comfort. Mm -hmm. You got to leave what's comfortable and go somewhere else. Mm -hmm. mm. And a lot of people don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> because I'm, I'm telling, I'm like, like they said, but the unknown, Bruh. you talking about Friday the 13th, <laughs> yeah. The unknown is scary. Yeah, that's real faith right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, yeah, you not knowing what's gonna happen mm -hmm. is it's frightening. Mm -hmm. And naturally, so it is. Yeah, it's frightening. Cause naturally, we want to know what's going on before it's going on. I told you, mm -hmm. look, God, man, he he might give y'all an inch. <laughs> he don't give me that. He might try to give me an inch, bro. He told me, he said, look, go to First Street. <laughs> don't pass go. Don't collect $200. <laughs> I was up there in Savannah, Georgia with that thing. I'm gone. He know he can't. <laughs> I'm in Savannah. You have, you have passed the Georgia state line. Yeah. The <laughs> <laughs> GPS done snitched on me. See, God, like, see, that's why I, that's why I don't say nothing. That's, that's why, that's, that's, I don't say nothing. Because you will be going the extra distance. Oh, yeah. Trust me, I know. Oh, man. The Lord's like, hey, I need you to move. You got three months. <laughs> you funny. <laughs> <laughs> With more money. What you got for me? <laughs> Show me what you got for me. <laughs> like he knew I wasn't going to move. I was like, all right. Oh, if, man. if you approve that and that happens, all right. I'll make a deal. <laughs> so did. I was like, you funny, God. You find it. <laughs> that's it. I say if you want to make God laugh, tell him your plans. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I do think that it's a, um, it's a like what you said earlier. Mm -hmm. It's like it has to be built and it's triggered at the same time. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. mm -hmm. it's it's like a it's a um it's a single sport. Mm -hmm. It's a single sport. Now when you, on your way, I'm talking about you making the decision to. Oh, that's a single sport. Mm -hmm. When you get in motion, now you got your team mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to help corral you along. Mm -hmm. But right. for you going in motion, that's on you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's a that's a yeah. single person thing. That's you with that choice. What am I going to do? Do I right. want to do something different? Mm -hmm. How I want to get there? That's that's good. That's that on that's, that's good, on yeah. you. That's that's not on nobody else but you. Yeah. And I get it. I understand. Sometimes, bro, it is hard. Man, you, man, when you've been smacked down, bro, I'm telling you, mm -hmm. it is hard for you to be like, man, I want to try this again. I want something mm -hmm. different. But you don't know how you're scared, bro. Yeah, I mm -hmm. get it. Yeah. But at the but if you don't never go, you won't never have. Exactly. Yeah, that's right. So it's a it's it's a single thing, mm -hmm. and, and we gotta disrupt the comfort. That's that's good, and, and, and I gotta it say this, man. It's it's nobody wants to hop on a train that's not moving. Exactly. Because when you say about motion, 
Yeah, motion. Because we're, we're asking God to send people our way to help us, but we ain't doing nothing. Mm-hmm. Don't nobody want to be a part of a moving train. I, 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 I mean, not a, a train that's standing still. People want to be a part of something. If it, I, I need to know the destination of this train. Where is it going? Mm-hmm. You, know, it was, you know what I'm saying? So it's, 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 it's like, like, like said, said, it's, it's, it's about motion, man. What are you moving to? It's a choice you got to make. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's like when you're looking for one of the things, it said it, one of the things is, is connecting with people, connecting with the right sources. You know, you, you yourself, when he said it's a single sport, yeah. you, it's, it's you working on yourself to the point to where when the team comes, it, there's a reason for the team to not only be there, Mm-hmm. But then the team is there to connect with you and shift you towards where the end goal or the end zone may be, whatever that looks like for you. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When you think <laughs> about the wide receiver, he gets out, he running down, he running in motion. And when that quarterback say, motion. hut, 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 he gone, running right his route. In motion. Bro, when you look at the car, I ain't never seen, y'all correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I ain't never seen a car that take two hands and two keys to crank it up. Mm-hmm. One key, one hand, mm-hmm. that's just, it's, mm-hmm. it got four wheels, multiple spark plugs, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. multiple cylinders in the engine, mm-hmm. multiple hoses to the engine, mm-hmm. multiple brake pads on a one thing to crank it up. Mm-hmm. After you get it crunk, now we can work on everything else. The mm-hmm. brakes back, that's cool. Hold on, I'm not finna work on the brakes if the car don't crank. <laughs> Right, mm-hmm. <laughs> right. Car just sitting in the <laughs> sitting in the driveway. I'm gonna care about the brakes oh, being broke down. One key, one wheel, one sound. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> My brakes scrubbing. How how you know? You can't even put it in. You can't even drive it. Right. Crank it up and let's see what's popping first. Exactly. Right. It's a mm-hmm. one key. Crank it up. That's once you get crunk, then we can work on everything else. Mm-hmm. I promise you. Mm-hmm. But if you don't crank it up, you. Mm-hmm. then you, you can't. You you don't have the the capability of going nowhere. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's a you have to choose. Mm-hmm. That's it. I don't care if you. What's that? It's crunk though. <laughs> <laughs> it's crunk, baby. Oh, you got motion, <laughs> baby. Baby, you need to spark. With the ocean, <laughs> baby, you need a tune up. But you don't know mm-hmm. if you need a tune up or not if you don't crank that sucker up. Right. Mm-hmm. That's good. Exactly. You have to choose. Like it's one key. Mm-hmm. I know I've never seen nobody crank up a car with two hands before, mm-hmm. yep. like this. It's mm-hmm. one. Mm-hmm. It's a singular thing. Mm-hmm. Press the button. It's one finger. It's a singular thing. Mm-hmm. It's one button to crank the car, but ain't two. Mm-hmm. It's a singular thing. Even to drive the car, mm-hmm. a stick shift you use two feet. Automatic you use two feet. Mm-hmm. Not at the same time, mm-hmm. but you still use. Mm-hmm. It's two pedals. Mm-hmm. You do get what I'm saying? So, yeah. bro, I ain't, I ain't never seen no. Yeah. It's, 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 it's a singular thing, dog. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's on us. Exactly. It is. Yeah. yeah. It's on yeah. Us. You, and you can't allow, and you can't, you can't allow fear to disrupt what God wants to do in your life in this season. Mm-hmm. And mm. I've one that adopted the philosophy over the year because I used to be the one, you know, faith and fear can't exist in the same space. Bull crap. I've done things afraid. I know people that have done things afraid and have come out on the other side. (laughs) But to not do something because, well, fear and faith can't exist in the same place, bull crap. It can. (laughs) Yeah, it can, because I've done plenty of things in faith, but I was scared of them. (laughs) Scared of them all, boy. You did it afraid, you know what I'm saying? So don't, don't allow fear. Um, to to um, control you. Yeah, to control you. To uh, what's the, it's a certain word I'm looking for. My mind just just went straight blank. Compress. Um, uh, paralyze. That's the paralyze. word. Paralyze. Yeah, that's the word. Don't don't let it don't let it paralyze you because when you paralyze you can't move. Mm. So you're you're so afraid that you can't have motion because you ain't made a decision. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Just like what you said. So it's it's like what fear does is it paralyzes people from making a decision because you're afraid. Mm. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know what's. I don't. I don't know. So so you know what? Since I don't know, I ain't gonna move. I'm just gonna stay right here. I know it's safe right here. 
Look, you better be afraid if you <laughs> if you don't make that right. <laughs> right. True. I can't tell you how many times I perform in <laughs> fear. Right. But the moment I got in that moment, fear left. The yeah, I'm just gonna it cap. Just, it just takes that initial. Yeah, takes that initial step. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Once you get there, you be like, oh man, this ain't what I thought. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it, it just, yeah, there's things I'm about to do now, bro. Yeah. There's things I'm, decisions yeah. I'm about to do now, things that I'm positioning my finances for now. Mm-hmm. Uh, to help, and I don't even want to say to help me gain or get finances. I, I'm thinking to help me uh, put myself in a position of freedom. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm thinking. And mm-hmm. about no, I'm trying to. I want freedom. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. So it's things that I'm um, in the works of doing now mm-hmm. that I am completely afraid of doing because mm-hmm. I don't know really how to run it. Mm-hmm. I, I didn't I didn't watch every YouTube video out. Mm-hmm. I've been re- I didn't research my little head off, mm-hmm. but I don't technically know how to do it. Mm-hmm. But I'm thinking about three years from now. What position could I be in if I don't? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Or what position could I be in if I said that I want to have this type of lifestyle. If I don't attempt to do this while I'm still afraid to do it, I might not mm-hmm. keep my word to myself how I said I want it. If I told my girl, I want us to live this type of way, if I don't go through with it, even if I'm scared, then if my mind frame is my family, if my mind frame is my mm-hmm. son, mm-hmm. if my mind frame is cultivating a certain atmosphere to I want my woman to be in her feminine bag, mm-hmm. which is ultimately going to benefit our family, everybody else around, mm-hmm. the, the ministry, people out in the streets, and, and me, myself, because mm-hmm. who doesn't love a feminine woman? Mm-hmm. So if you want yes. that type of things, you cultivate that, you grow that, mm-hmm. you put that seed there. So I'm thinking about, man, I'm thinking about what I actually want. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you know, you know what? I'm afraid that if I don't attempt this, then it's going to be how it's been for the past 12, 15, and I, and I don't, I don't want that. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. So it's stuff that I'm, I'm, and I'm positioning myself to do now that I'm completely mm-hmm. afraid to do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Straight terrified. Yeah. But likewise, likewise. You know what I'm saying? Facts. But. Yeah. But we gonna do it. We gonna do it because do I was afraid. I, I want this. <laughs> hey, look, you got you got the little thin steaks at Win Dixie, and then you got the filet mignon. Okay. It's time for the filet mignon. Mm-hmm. Give me the filet mignon. The filet mignon. Filet mignon. Filet mignon. <laughs> man, this is this has been another another one for the books, man. Facts. It's been another one for the books, man. We thank y'all constantly for the support, man, for tuning in, mm-hmm. and and man, as we get ready to close out that fourth quarter, man. Hey, don't get stuck. Don't get paralyzed in your fears. Tell you. Hey, just resurge, man. Just re- replenish, refuel, and uh, just begin to recharge yourself for the mm-hmm. journey at hand. Enjoy what's left in the re- remainder of this year. But just notice, as long as you wake up, the eyes are open. You know, everything's always moving forward. So 2024 going to be here whether you're prepared for it or not. So at the end of the day, you just want to prepare yourself for the shift that you want to take in, and, and for the shift that you want um, to actually come into your life. So... Man, y'all know what it is, man. It's been, it's been lovely, man. It's, once again, it's been the Blueprint to Success podcast, man. Y'all, y'all know how we in this thing, man. Shoot for the top because the bottom is way too crowded. And if you think different and be different, you have the opportunity to live different. And once again, we'll see you on the other side of success. We'll see y'all next week. Shifty. Peace. <laughs> Shout out.